Good morning, LHS, and welcome to the January 31st edition of The Week Ahead. I hope you all had a great snowy weekend. On today's show, we have student guests from our TRIO Gear Up program here at LHS. We will continue to highlight our staff and students of the week and highlights of our JROTC Passing of the Leadership Command Cadet Station. All that and more on The Week Ahead. Snow is falling in Manhattan. Welcome to the week ahead. Here at LHS, we have many programs to help students with their academics, college, and career exploration. Free of charge, open to all students. It's important that you're aware of these programs because here at LHS, there is literally something for everyone. Today, we have two students who are participating in the TRIO Gear Up program. My name is Lisa. I'm in C House and I'm a senior. My name is Sana. Um, I'm also a senior and I'm in C House. Thank you for joining us today. Lisa, can you tell us what the TRIO Gear Up program is? So it's basically a program where you can get a lot of help with college stuff and you can also get help on how to succeed in high school. Anyone can join, um, including like freshmen all the way to seniors. They have a lot of programs. They help you apply to colleges. They also provide um, free college tour trips and a lot of free workshops to help you with the whole college process. Sana, what is a way that students can join the program and find out more about it? So the way you can join the program is, so these flyers are going to be given to every advisory and there's a little QR code in the corner. So if you just use your phone to open up the QR code, you can um, contact the trio and the Garrett people. Also, if you don't want to do it this way, you can stop by room 206 and just talk to someone and I'm sure they can help you out. And the both of you are going to tell us what the best thing about the TRIO Gear Up program is. What have been some positive experiences that you've in, had in the program? For me, it was like I could go to the advisors whenever I wanted. Like they were really responsive. I could have like a really stressed out day where I need college stuff done immediately. And I would just email them. They're like swing by the room and I got it done so fast. Like I got most of my college application process done before the early action deadline, which helped me a lot with like being a stress of like having all the stuff going on as a senior too. And yeah, like, and I also was a part of the um, college essay workshop over the summer, so that helped me get everything done before the school year started. For me, the best thing about the TRIO program is um, just the teachers there. They're so friendly and they're so helpful. Um, two teachers that really helped me was Miss Renna and Miss Torty, they're super kind, especially when it came to the financial aid forms, which can be very confusing because of all the tax forms and stuff that you need to actually do it. Um, so I was very confused and I stopped by and they helped me right away and they helped me schedule a time during school hours that I could show up and actually come so that, you know, I don't have to take time out of my day out of any other time to go actually. And um, another really good thing is that they're always very, very helpful, um, whether it's scholarships, co college applications, um, financial aid forms, they're always there and they definitely know what they're doing. So it's very beneficial to go and see what's up. So you've shared a considerable amount of information about Cheerio and Gear Up. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with our studio audience that you may have omitted from this conversation today? Um, there's no like, after school requirements, like you're not uh, mandated to go to anything that you don't have time for. And then also, they provide so many fee wa waivers, like I got my SATs paid for, I got my college applications paid for, and just they're so helpful when it comes to the whole process. And like, it doesn't really hurt. And if you're a senior and you're completing FAFSA, they will also give you like Amazon gift cards and stuff. I took a bunch of their workshops and I got a lot of gift cards from that that I think I'm gonna like save up and like put towards stuff I actually need for college too. So they're just super duper helpful and like I encourage everyone to join because it, it's no harm. So if you're a senior, you'll be getting these flyers in your advisory. You should take them very seriously, especially as you complete your college applications and submit all your information. And if you're a freshman through junior, the, the TRIO Gear Up program is available to you and will provide you with a lot of opportunities to help with academics, uh, not only college and career ready readiness, but study skills and any extra support that you could need. It seems to me that it's a no-brainer and that everyone should join the program. Uh, Lisa and Sana, I want to thank you for being a great representative of Lowell High School and TRIO and Gear Up, and thank you for being on the show.
Each week, we shout out students and staff on the week ahead who represented our core values here at Lowell High School. Our staff of the week is Mr. Lenny Rapone, and he was recommended to us by his fellow teachers who really admire and appreciate what he does here at LHS. Mr. Lenny Rapone is a PE teacher, it teaches adaptive PE, and he represents the essence of what this program is about. He takes, into consider he takes into consideration not only the PE aspect, but also the social, emotional, and health issues of our students. We want to thank you so much for your support. Maxwell Burns and Anastasia Leaf, we want to thank you for your work and kindness towards the life skills students that they work on during the unified physical education classes, and that comes from your teacher. Thank you, Anastasia, Maxwell, and Mr. Rapone for all you do and for representing our LHS core values. We have some more students to recognize that were recommended by their teachers. Con Lee is in the AFJROTC drill team and honor guard. The commander of logistics for JROTC, National Honor Society, advisory council, and get this, over 125 hours of community service completed. Darsh Patel, class of 2022, National Honor Society treasurer, captain of the robotics team, STEM club, and overall great student. Thank you both for your commitment to our core values and for doing the best you can here to be successful at Lowell High School. Last week, seniors in our engineering and health and business pathway prepared for internship opportunities in the business community. Students in our pathway program can take advantage of this opportunity to gain real world experience in an area that they want to pursue after high school. Students participated in a resume workshop, mock interviews, and learned all about the workplace etiquette prior to going on their internships this week. To learn more about our internship program, please call Ms. Bluen in Student Services. We have some general announcements. Bus passes will be sold in the Freshman Academy CAF on Monday, today, and then tomorrow, Tuesday, in the main cafeteria. The price for bus passes is $25. Seniors, the deadline to submit Honors Night Scholarship applications is February 9th at 4 p.m. Don't miss out on getting some free cash for your college tuition. There will be a, a Student Advisory Council meeting Friday in the cafeteria during period seven. We will have a talent show, so please, this is going to be for students and staff. We want to see your talent. Uh, this will happen in April, Wednesday, April 13th. More information will be coming out, but please start practicing your talents. Senior updates. The prom is on. We will be having our prom Tuesday, May 31st at the Lowell Memorial Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. See Mr. Thornton for details. Class dues, $110. Please, please have your payments by May 1st so you can participate in all the senior activities. Senior photo, April 26th. We will take a photo of our entire senior class. Be prepared. And graduation, June 8th. 6 p.m. at the Songus Arena. This week we had JROTC changing of leadership. Last Thursday in the Fieldhouse, the AF JROTC had its cadet change of command ceremony. Natalia Flores relinquished command of the unit and Santiago Echeverri will now assume command. This is a time-honored military tradition that is shared with JROTC cadets in recognition of their efforts in the first semester and to inspire action for the second semester. Congratulations to Natalia for all of her service to the Lowell High community and to Santiago for taking on this new leadership role. Thank you for joining us on the week ahead. It was great to be with you. We will see you next week with more information about Lowell High and the Lowell High community on the week ahead. Have a great week, everybody.